We rolled in, and the club contact at first asked us to not say any F-bombs, no F-words. So I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, we can do that, no problem. You know, I don't, it's not like you got to say the F-word to be funny. You know, it's none of, none of my jokes require the F word, I don't think. I always say that, but then when I'm like it riffing in the middle of my act, and this is what happened last Saturday, I get to a joke where like I'm used to saying the F word. I'm used to dropping it. And then when I get to it, I'm like, oh shit, I got to change it. I got to change it. Yeah, I start getting all nervous and worried. It's like, it's not going to be as funny now. But, you know, the, the joke is the joke. The joke, there, there are no jokes that I do that require the F word. Maybe there are some. I gotta, you know, I say this kind of shit, and then I go back through my act in real time, or I'm watching a video of it later, I'm like, oh, shit, like, I kind of do have to say the F word to say that one. You know, but whatever. You just, you gotta edit on the fly. In any case, they asked us no F words when we got there. I said, no problem. And then about 30 seconds in, I immediately dropped the fucking F word. Like I did just now. It's hard, man, because it's just how I normally talk. I usually curse. I love saying fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's why I like doing these Facebook things. It's no, it's, it's not censored. No holds barred. That's what I love about YouTube and podcasts and, you know, uh, Sirius Satellite Radio when it first came out. It was there's no more censorship. No more bullshit. You can say what you want to say. You know, the, 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 the barriers of entry have been broken down. Anybody that can get on and has a message to communicate and wants to reach the people, they can fucking do so. You don't need to go to some, you know, multi-million dollar television studio nowadays and try to get the approval of producers and build an audience and have to be subject to the ratings, which are bullshit as well. That's old school technology. It's so much better now. I can get here in real time. I know exactly how many people are watching at any given moment that I'm doing a Facebook Live video. I know how many people watch afterwards. Those are the fucking ratings right there. It might not be millions and millions and millions of people. It might only be a couple hundred, but it's a couple hundred that actually know me, a couple hundred people that are going to come see me at a show sometime, and we're going to get to hang out and be friends and have fun together. Like, the, to me, that kind of personal engagement is worth way more in my life than being able to get on a television show and broadcast out to millions who are going to forget you the fu- as soon as the fucking next commercial rolls around. So, when I go and do live stand-up, I just like to... Sp- Go off the top of my head. I, you know, I don't, it's hard for me to get too scripted with my material. There are a lot of jokes. It's like the joke has to be delivered like this. Boom, 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 boom. It's, you know, there's got a certain rhythm and flow to it. There are certain words that you definitely want to use, certain words that you definitely don't want to use. You don't want to put too many words into the joke. You, you know, you want to set it up just right. But a lot of the material that I do goes off of premises that I'm working with. And a lot of times when I'm doing that, just like I'm doing this right now, I'm just talking off the top of my head and I'm seeing what sticks and when I'm doing that a lot of times maybe it's just nervousness maybe it's just the way I naturally am but I like to just be myself when I get on stage I don't like to do a character I don't like to be perfectly in control of every minute and every second to deliver the best possible polished product they're already getting a kick-ass polished product you know my performance Very, very fucking polished. I can get by 20 minutes just on attitude and personality. So I've got tons and tons and tons and tons of tight material I can do without dropping the F-bomb. But sometimes when I'm just going off the top of my head and ad-libbing, it's so hard to control. I'm just not used to it. You know, it's like one, maybe two gigs out of the year, they say no F-bomb. I always say no problem. And then two seconds in, I'm saying fuck every, you know, it's like, oh, then I go, oh shit, I'm not supposed to say that. You know, the crowd usually eats it up, though. They like it. No one gives a shit anymore. They're laughing their asses off. They're there to have a good time.